All right, today we're still talking about angle properties, um, adding in some of our tangential angle properties. Okay, so exterior angles mean they're on the outside of the circle. Interior means that they are inside the circle. And then inscribed means they're right on the edge. Okay, so inscribed angles are the ones that we were working on earlier this week with problems that look like this. And the angle is half of its intercepted arc, or if this is x, this would be 1 half x. Um, it is very similar, in fact, it's exactly the same, um, when you have a secant and a tangent cross. Um, so let's go ahead and write down our definition here. If a secant intersects a tangent line, the angle is half of the intercepted arc. Okay, so same thing we were doing before. Here, angle two is half the arc measure BD. And angle one is half the arc measure BRD. That's a major arc, so it needs three letters. Okay, so here if I want to find angle 1, I would take half of 112, which is 56. Here, if this piece is 78, then the rest of this is 282. So x is 282, and angle 1 is half of that, or 141. Here, if this angle is 118, then the arc is twice that much, or 236 for y, and then 360 minus 236 is 124 for x. Okay. So here we're trying to find angle 1. So if I take 360 minus 248 is 112. Half of 112 is 56. Okay? Or I could have done half of 248 and subtracted from 180. There's more than one way to find these angles, but that's one way. Um, here we want to find angle 1. Here, 61 means that this is 122. Let me go ahead and highlight so you can really see what I'm talking about here. This piece is 122. And then since that's the endpoints of this inscribed angle, angle 1 is half of that, or 61 again. Pi 1c. First, I know this is a right angle, and that may or may not help me, but it's still good to think about those things because its endpoints are on the diameter. Um, so this is a half circle, so this part is 180. So if I take 180 minus 96, that means this piece has to be 84. And this would be half of that. So angle 1 would be 42. Okay, next page. The central angle is something we've already talked about. Um, so the central angle is the same as its corresponding arc measure. Okay, so these are the same here. Over here on the right, this is not something we've talked about yet. Um, these two angles are marked because they're vertical angles, which means they have to be the same measure, or likewise, these two have to be the same. Um, but it does do something interesting to our arc measures here, A, B, and C, D. If you take the arc measure of A, B and the measure of C, D and divide by 2 or you find the average of those two, then that is angle E here. 
So some examples. If I add 55 and 107 and divide by 2, I get 81. So x is 81, which makes this angle 81 also. All right, we're here. I'm missing one of the end pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and do 92 plus x over 2 equals 71, and then solve. So then I have 92 plus x equals 142, which should be 50. So this arc length is, our arc measure is 50. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and find this angle first. 82 plus 146 over 2 is... 114. So then I can find angle X by taking 114 from 180, which is 66. All right, a few more examples. I'm um, here, 60 plus 150 is 210. Um, divided by 2 is 105. Seventy five plus one hundred and four divided by two is eighty nine point five for this angle. So the one we're missing, I have to take one eighty minus eighty nine point five is ninety point five. We're here. One thirty six plus x because we're trying to find this one. It's not actually a one. It's like a variable equals over 2 equals 100. So 136 plus x equals 200. Or our arc measure there would be 64. All right, one more page. If you have two secants outside the circle, you actually are going to Instead of adding them, you're going to subtract them. So I would have the measure of AB minus the measure of CD over 2 is going to give me angle E. Okay? So here I would take 93 minus 29 over 2. Is 32 degrees. So that's angle X. I'm here, I'd have 168 minus X over 2 equals 59. And then I'd have to solve from there. So negative x equals negative 50, which makes x 50 degrees. All right, find y and x. So it looks like I need to find y first um, because I know these two arc measures. So I can find this one by taking those from 360. So I have 360 minus 93 and 183 is 84. Okay, so then to find x, I would take 183 minus 84 over 2. 199 over 2 is 49.5 degrees. Okay, a few more examples. Find angle 1, so I would take 107 minus 40 divided by 2 is 33. 0.5 degrees. Here, they're telling us that these two pieces are equal. And since this is a diameter, it divides it into a semicircle, or 180 degrees. So if this is 90 and these two are equal, then they should each be 
45 to make 180 total. So then I can do 90 minus 45 over 2, which should be 22 and a half degrees. Okay. Um, for this one, I need to find this arc first, which I can do by taking 360 minus 68 and 114. So it's 178 for this piece. And then I would take 178 times 68 over 2, which should be 55 degrees. All right? And so that's it for your notes. We are doing several pages for tonight. So this is all worksheet eight. But don't just stop at two. We're doing 35, 36, 37, 38. That is four pages. Okay, they all say worksheet eight at the top. Okay, so keep going until you see worksheet nine. 